Black girl luxury. Oh my God, should we talk about it? Can we talk about it for a second? And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel by clicking on this video and welcome back. Today is November the 1st. I like to start the month off on a positive note. Now, I can't say that every single month goes as planned. And when I say as planned, I mean strictly put together on a schedule, just really having my shit together all month. I have my planner right here in front of me. For the month of November, it says good things happen to those who hustle. So we're going to get started. We're going to write in our goals, our, the birthdays, anniversaries, additional notes, and November to-dos. Let's get started. Now that I'm dressed and ready to go, I like to put on a little bit of makeup, even if it's just filling in my brows or putting on some concealer. Before I leave the house, I like to look put together. So I'm gonna fill in my brows. Since I already have on lash extensions, I don't need to do anything with my lashes except for brush them. We all know that my brows are struggle brows, so. I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's it. That's all I'm going to do for my brows. I am going to comb through my hair. I like to use a feather comb when I have curls or like loose waves or whatever I like to put. Use a little feather comb. It just makes the hair look like it has body okay and i'm not gonna do too much to my hair so i feel like this is this is pretty good i'll show you guys my outfit really quick hi guys so i'm finally fully dressed i'm just wearing this two-piece workout set that i got from forever 21 and i'm wearing this uh i guess cardigan or sweater oversized sweater that i got from forever 21 like five years ago it ties into i feel like it ties into the outfit really nicely this is like a mom outfit which is appropriate because i am a mom so i'm wearing these sunglasses that i got from amazon i have these in black and orange and like an off-white color so if you've seen the same shape before that is why i got them all from amazon these shoes that i'm wearing are my nike 270s they go really nicely with this color and 
that is it. No, I'm not going to work out today, <laughs> which is one of my goals for the month is to it's to start back working out and remain consistent because I always start and then I stop because of life. So, yeah, none of us have it all together, right? Anyway, back to the outfit. So, yeah, this is the this is a two piece workout set that I got from Forever 21. It is like a tank it's like a sports bra, like fitted top, but it comes down like that. And just these leggings. This outfit is super cute, super simple, and very comfy. Never miss the opportunity to get up and get dressed. And do not save outfits for later. If you want to look fly that day just because it's Thursday or just because it's Tuesday or just because it's Monday, Sunday, whatever, do that. I'm going to head to a game. My daughter is on the Palms team, so I'm going to go there. And then we're going to head over to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm gonna move the TV. Hi guys. <laughs> Good morning. I'm looking for my tripod right now. But welcome to another video. I don't know what this video is gonna be titled. I kinda just turned on the camera with no planning or anything i'm just turning on the camera so good morning welcome to my channel if you're new here i am okay <laughs> beating up my chest i am shelly and if you've already been here thank you guys so much for supporting my channel by clicking on this video and welcome back sorry i'm uh can't clearly cannot do two things at once but i cannot find my tripod I don't know. Where is it? Look at these sunglasses with this hair color. You guys, I got these off of Amazon. I have these sunglasses in every every color. Look at these. Hold on. I showed you guys these in another vlog, but if you didn't see it, I also have these in black. I have them in blue have them in this color which is the color that I had on in my other vlog my last vlog that I posted love these somebody commented on my snapchat actually one of my friends commented on my snapchat when I had these glasses on he was like Mary J Blige looking at <laughs> right <laughs> these are giving auntie Mary but auntie Mary is fly so uh Compliment accepted. Well received. Compliment well received. But I also have these in black. In black, they're just so sleek. So if you guys want some good sunglasses, they're on Amazon. I will link them. I need to, I still haven't created my Amazon storefront. There is nothing really preventing me from doing it. Just the fact that I just haven't done it. So yeah, but I'm gonna link these because they're so cute. And they're all from the same brand. Sunglasses just add the perfect, the perfect amount of sun to every single look. Where in the hell? I'm trying to find my blue ones. Anyway, let's um, let's get this vlog started. So it is morning. I was gonna do a morning routine, but you know what? Just, <laughs> just didn't feel like it. So. I'm not gonna do a morning routine. I might, this might be just like a day in my life. I've been really enjoying day in my life vlogs just because they're a little more realistic. So I've been loving more like realistic, like real realistic vlogs. The nosy part of me wants to know what people do. I wanna know what everyone does. So if you will, please make one for people like me who are nosy and you can make money off of me watching your life because I want to see I want to see what you guys do I want to see what people do that's I don't know it's my favorite my favorite pastime is watching others and seeing what they do but here's some green ones that I also ordered off of Amazon these are so sleek they give me like Ray-Ban for like one-eighth of the price so cute right I'm in a weird mood today my boyfriend kind of pissed me off today anyway here are the blue ones let me show you real quick you. One other thing that I want to show you guys. If any of you have to carry a laptop 
daily. If you need a laptop bag, I got this bag from Amazon. It's like 30 bucks, I think. I'll link it for those who care, but it's so cute. So it has a decent amount of compartments. I just have some of my things in here. I go to Starbucks or Blue Box Cafe every Wednesday, which today's Wednesday. Um, but I go there every Wednesday because my daughter has gymnastics for two hours and I just don't like dropping her off and then having to go like back and forth. So usually I go to a cafe and I do a little bit of work on my laptop. So if you're someone who has to carry around your laptop, this is a very cute bag. Let me show you like this. Okay. So yes, it has the little gold detail on it. It does have a larger strap once i get dressed i'll show you guys what it really looks like on but second about something that's sort of been weighing heavy on me and I just need to get it out and say it to you guys. I don't want to consider this a rant but I mean I don't know I guess we can call it what it is. So lately in the world of influencers, lately in the world of social media, there has been a lot of chatter about how black creators are copying each other they're all doing the same thing they're all focused on the same aesthetic and I just want to touch on it a little bit as a black content creator. I want to touch on this because I feel like it's only right. This is the reason for me having a platform is to touch on issues, spread positivity, and teach those who want to be taught. It's a bit disheartening what I'm seeing as far as uh, the world of creativity as when it pertains to black creators i'm gonna focus solely on the black community because that is my community that's the community that i can relate to i am not shading nor disregarding any other community i'm just focusing solely on the one that i that i can speak to and speak on which is the one that i'm a part of uh <laughs> i just want to put that out there it is very disturbing to get online and see or hear other content creators or other social media personalities make comments about black content creators and oh everyone's copying everyone and everyone's doing the same thing that everyone else is doing or everyone's doing the same thing that this person is doing everyone's following the same trends listen up and listen to me closely black creators a few years back there were few there were not many content creators that were black that were actually blowing up Okay, let's put that out there first. We didn't have content creators that look like me. There were literally a handful. I honestly remember getting on YouTube a few years ago when I even first started my YouTube channel. And I remember that was the reason why I started my YouTube channel is because there were not many creators who looked like me. We all know the importance of representation, okay? We know that representation matters. I don't understand the point of larger creators getting online or larger influencers getting online and basically shitting on other creators who look like them. I don't understand why it matters if everyone is doing, following the same type of trends or everyone is posting the same type of content or everyone is inspired or influenced by another influencer so they're kind of just all falling in line with each other. There are not two of the same people who are the exact same people. Like even twins have similarities but are very different but, but can be different. So I don't understand the need to get online and utilize your platform to pretty much put down to pretty much put down and create a divide between black creators when here it is we are all basically just now being welcomed into this world of influencers and and black girl luxury black girl luxury oh my god should we talk about it can we talk about it for a second let's talk about black black girl luxury for a second many years ago or quite a few years ago black girl luxury was not really a thing black girls being put on display for living luxurious lifestyles was not a thing everyone is pretty much showing their ass with this and and showing that it wasn't really a big 
trendy thing because they're mad now that everyone is pretty much hopping on board and all these black girls are now living luxurious lifestyles and now they have to talk about it now they have to get online and utilize their platform instead of for the greater good and putting on other black creators that aren't already on you're getting online to basically say everyone's doing the same thing and i'm tired of seeing it how about you just don't click on their content anymore then it's it's that simple i don't watch creators that i don't care to see what they're up to i don't watch creators who i don't care about their content or i can't get anything from their content i can't gain anything from watching them we just came off of the hardest year for most of us the hardest year of our lives and to get online and see black women basically shunning other black women or we're gonna say women because i don't see the men doing this so i don't know i don't really pay attention to what men are doing anyway so that's neither here nor there but it's very very disheartening to see black women putting down other black women putting down other black girls for living luxurious lifestyles or how about <laughs> how about this other black girls who are living luxurious lifestyles putting down the ones who don't live luxurious lifestyles let me let you guys in on a little secret. You can still shine and not put down anyone else. I don't know if a lot of people knew that, but you don't have to put down anyone else in order for your light to shine. You don't have to try to dim someone else's light in order for your light to shine. Or, or better yet, how about this? There's enough money in the world. There's literally enough money in the world for every single person in the world to be rich. There's enough room for all of us. There is enough room for all of us. I'll say it again. There is enough room for all of us. My lane isn't necessarily vlogging. My lane is more so beauty and makeup and skincare and things like that. And I throw in a few vlogs every now and again. However, that's not really my niche. But I'm, I'm touching on it because I do watch a lot of vloggers. And you do notice the similarities in the vlog styles and things like that. And when I tell you, I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy it i enjoy watching black girls live their best lives shout out to the black girls who are living luxurious lifestyles shout out to the black girls who are still working hard to try to get it shout out to the black girls that are in college that are working hard towards a degree shout out to the black girls that are stay-at-home moms shout out to the black girls who go to work every day shout out to the black girls that are single moms who are working hard for their offspring so that they don't have to live the struggle life society is already trying to create a divide there needs to be some sort of unity it seems like in this world and i'm learning so much about it now but it seems like in this world like you're only onto something when you blow up or like you're only worth being acknowledged once you start blowing up and i say all this to say because i obviously i do like makeup content and stuff like that I remember years ago that's all that was all over YouTube from girls like they were only doing makeup content and then vlogs came along or whatever the case is like with makeup content essentially we're all pretty much doing the same type of things we're just doing it differently we're just doing it on different faces with different personalities but I mean essentially it's the same thing I don't understand why if it doesn't affect you it doesn't affect your pockets it doesn't affect your well-being why do you care and why are you going to utilize your platform to get online and talk about black creatives? I've mastered the art of being able to mind my business. If it doesn't affect me or my child or my life, I don't, I don't care. You can be utilizing your platform to shout out creatives instead of shitting on them. I just don't understand that. I just want to end it off with this. This is a safe space. Feel free to shout out a black content creator down below tag them shout them out go on their instagram leave them some comments do what you will so i just want to utilize my platform to spread positivity as opposed to the negative catty high school stuff that's going on on social media right now with and between black content creators show some love to a black content creator today just even if you're not black <laughs> show some love to a black content creator today because it is needed and I send virtual hugs to all of you. You guys know y'all my good sisters. And I appreciate you guys for always being so positive. And I apologize for even bringing this here. But I really wanted to discuss it on my channel. Sometimes things just need to be said. And even though, you know, a lot of things I keep quiet on, this was just something that I refused to keep quiet on. I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I just want to get on here and really just chop it up with you guys for a second and 
say my piece on that because it really needs to stop there needs to be unity in the black girl magic community and not just amongst the big and known influences but even the, the ones that are not where they want to be yet i'm not going to call them small influencers i'm going to say the ones that are not where they want to be yet or just the ones that haven't been fully discovered yet shout out to all of you i hope you guys are having a blessed week and yeah i'm done with my rant <laughs> okay i'm out of breath sorry i just came from taking milo out and running up those stairs but listen up those of you who do not have a dog but you want one listen up this dog oh i don't even think you can see it you can't even see it. This dog chewed my airplane pillow up. So like all these little beads started coming out. I didn't know this, but I guess he was eating it. He was he was eating like the little beads because I just took him for his walk. And guess what was in his feces? <laughs> the little beads from inside the pillow. If you are thinking about getting a dog, I have a little bit of advice for you. Don't. <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm totally kidding i love him it's my baby but he is so bad you guys he's so bad i have to vacuum really quick so i'm gonna vacuum before i go i kind of want to change my clothes too <sighs> I'm out of breath. here is something that you guys should try okay it's something that i randomly tried one day and fell in love with it's the matcha green tea latte so get a matcha green tea and then add the pumpkin sweet cream cold foam oh they didn't put the thing on here but yeah pumpkin sweet cream on top and it is amazing i'm gonna run to the dollar store because i want to do these care packages for the homeless the homeless rate in chicago is extremely high and it's starting to get cold here like it's 39 degrees right now it's starting to get cold so i want to go to the dollar store and just buy a bunch of gloves and hats and socks and um toothbrushes little toothpaste deodorant uh feminine like sanitary the sanitary napkins maybe get like some wet wipes and a bunch of like hand sanitizer and stuff i want to make some care packages and then when i go to the city i can take them with me and hand them out so so I can make sure that everything will fit and it looks good. All right, so we're back home and we have all all the stuff. We have all the stuff to make the care packages. So that's what I'm about to do because we are gonna go tomorrow to go and drop them off. Hmm? What do you mean? I'm gonna make it too. Oh, I'm gonna let you make it. I'm gonna let you help. So we're gonna go tomorrow and drop them off. So I wanna get them done tonight. But I wanna show you guys what I got so that you guys have an idea if this is something you wanna do in your city or if you live in Chicago and you want to do this as well or you wanna do this too. This is annoying me. Let me move that. Okay. So yeah, if you live in Chicago and you want to do this as well, I am about to show you guys all the little things that you can put inside of your care packages in your hometown or wherever you want to help out and create care packages. I'm going to show you guys what you can put inside of them that actually really does come in handy. All right, you guys. So this is the final result of the bag that's for the woman. I'm trying to keep it as nice as possible, but yeah, it's not working out. But anyway, well, I put in a hat, gloves, a pair of cozy socks for the women. And then they had these socks here that have like the extreme heat full cushion thermal. Uh, they had these as well. So I just like grabbed some of these for the men. But I will also make a woman bag or like a few women bags 
um, with these socks. A toothbrush that comes with the toothpaste and the toothbrush cover. These feminine wipes and just to wipe themselves up daily. For the men, I got these antibacterial wipes. And then there are these um, hot hands packs, hand sanitizer for obvious reasons. For the women, I am putting in ponytail holders and then chapstick because in the winter months, we all know our lips get super dry, so this will help with that. And then for the women bags, I bought like pads and stuff. I also bought panty liners because, again, for obvious reasons. I'm about to finish up. My daughter is doing her homework and she wants to help me, but she's checking I'm not forever. Just kidding. While I was in the store, this older couple was walking past me. The guy was like, oh, you're really getting your dollar's worth. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm actually buying this stuff to make care packages for the homeless. And he was like, oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> His wife was walking up and he's like, she's buying all this stuff to make care packages for the homeless. And he's like, what do you do? Do you just like put everything together? And I'm like, yeah, um, I'm buying these bags or whatever so that I can put everything in there. And he's like, He's like, isn't that so nice of her? Like, <laughs> almost like he was shocked. I'm like, damn, <laughs> sir. I just thought that was funny. Anyway, let me finish up. I'll show you guys. I'll do like a little, um, do like a little time lapse or whatever. And then I'll show you guys once it's all done. Thursday. I felt bad how I ended it off yesterday so I wanted to extend it a little bit into this morning. I'm kind of tired honestly. Milo slept in a bed with me last night and around like 3 30 this morning 3 30 ish 3 40 he was growling out the window like looking out the window and growling. You would have thought that he saw someone or something outside that was making him growl because it, it scared me honestly it had me feeling so anxious and i could not fall asleep he was looking out the window he was growling and he was like tense so when i would try to touch him he like you know i don't know it was so weird he like tensed up so i put him back in his bed because his bed like sits at the foot of my bed so i put him in his bed he ran back to the window still growling like there was someone outside listen i'm like <laughs> I don't know what's out there. I looked out the window. I kept looking out the window like, okay, someone, does he see something? You know, dogs, like their senses, they're more aware of things than humans. So where's Dr. Doolittle when you need him? Because I need to know what's going on. After that happened, I started praying, y'all. I was like, Lord, I need, you to, I need you to cover us. I need you to protect us because I don't know. But after that, it was so hard for me to fall back to sleep. I know I need to eat something, so I'm about to make a yogurt bowl. I know a lot of you guys, when I posted it on my Instagram, you guys were DMing me about it, asking me how do I make it, and that was a while ago, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make it real quick, and then I'm gonna get ready because I am gonna head to the city so that I can give out the care packages today, so. <laughs>
strawberries and blueberries on top this is like a really loaded <laughs> smoothie bowl i don't know if the footage came out right when i tried to record it but here's what i used non-fat greek yogurt and i always use vanilla chopped banana strawberries make sure you wash your fruit blueberries granola chia seeds and then i drizzle honey on top just for a little bit of added taste so good thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for all of your support on my channel and i will catch you guys in the next one bye